Greetings, YouTube. It's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. I have zero on my trip A. 254 miles to go until empty. Today is the 23rd, I think, of June. Maybe the 24th, but I think it's the 23rd of June. It's a Wednesday in the year 2020. And uh, I just finished work about uh, an hour ago. So I thought I'd go out for a little ride. It's not too hot out. Not too hot out at all at all. Screw it, I'm going for it. He's turning anyway. <laughs> So I have a, uh, a flimsy objective. That's one of the one of the ways I trick myself into getting on the gear and going out for a ride. I'm going to go and get some uh, ortho at the request of the misses or the miss. That's okay. I saw you. Poor guy had already committed to pulling out because of that horrible driveway. I forgive you. You didn't mean nothing by it. Plus, I was probably going too fast anyway. Anyway, so the sweet pea wants me to get some ortho. Ah, this light's going longer than I thought it would. All right, yay. <laughs> I thought sure as hell that was going to turn red on me. The front porch has got all these spiders on it, so... And I told her I ain't putting anything on that house or on that yard that's going to hurt my dogs. So she looked up some cinnamon-flavored ortho that apparently is non-toxic to dogs, I guess. I'll read it when I get there. It's at the Walmart, and the Walmart's that away. But I'm going to go this away for a long time. Then I'm going to go that away for a long time. Then I'm going to come back up that away. See if I find it that way. Nice house. So a little shout out to um, Have Moto Will Travel. And while I'm at it, not that Austin watches, but Have Dog Will Scooter. That was his old channel moniker back in the day before his terrible accident. And he got out of riding. But he's still a friend of mine on the Facebooks. And let, let me do a couple of shout-out people that aren't on here anymore. <laughs> I don't even know if you could find them on, on... I don't know if their stuff is even up anymore. DJ Sipster 4 Breaks. Ashfoot. Anybody remember them? <laughs> if you do, you've been here a while. And then, uh, of course, you know... <sighs> I had to put my hand over my heart to say Bilma. And uh, Stephen Love. Uh, I can't remember what his YouTube moniker was. Stefan something. It was Stephen Love. He was a funny guy. England. He was from England. Ended up uh, apparently committing suicide, which sucks. Anyway, a few shout outs there. One current person, and then the rest are all not even on here or alive. <laughs> I guess if you've been around long enough, you can kind of click off the names of the people who aren't doing it anymore. I did see, though, that Triple X Deadhead had a new video of a motorcycle. So that was nice. I haven't watched it yet, but I did see it was on there. So good for him. I know he's been working hard to, you know, supply... A future for his family. I got this truck up my butt all of a sudden here, and I don't like it. Not at all. As I'm maintaining, I don't know if you can see how far away I am. Let me see if I can figure it out. Let me, I'm going to wait till this guy passes us to one, two, three, four, five. So I'm five seconds behind this car ahead of me. And, uh, 
the truck behind me is, is right up on tail, so I have to be careful. Anyway. So, uh, let's see if I can think of something interesting to talk about. Um, okay, I'll do things that I wish somebody had told me before I got into motorcycling. I saw that from, I don't know who it was now. Somebody said that. Who was it? Anyway. Uh, the first thing I would, I would tell anybody who wanted to get into motorcycle and wasn't already, I'd say definitely get trained. Take the classes, do what you gotta do to get proficient because uh, it'll save your life. Number two, I would say um, start small and work your way up. That's one of the reasons the uh, motorcycle classes generally have lighter bikes. So definitely be aware of that. Uh, number three, I would say practice, practice, practice as much as you can and consider every ride a form of practice. Uh, number four, don't be afraid or ashamed. Don't be afraid of messing up. Don't be ashamed when you mess up. That's how you learn. If you've been riding for years and years and you're still paddling your feet up to a red light or you're still dragging your feet from a takeoff, uh, that's not good. You know, your feet should go up the moment you decide you're going to pull forward, your feet should go up. And then your feet shouldn't come down until you're done moving. Just my opinion. Uh, next would be the gear. I would say uh, try to wear as much gear as, as you can. I've got on, you know, armored gloves. I've got the armor jacket with the D3O armor. I've got shoulder, back, elbow, chest. You don't have to have all that, but it, you got to have some at least, you know. Uh, you should wear the armored pants if you're going to be on a ride of any, you know, significant length. I'm not. So if I get on and, and my knees get all screwed up, that's on me. Same thing with my feet. I'm wearing sneakers. Uh, to those of you who don't ride, like let's say a uh, Harley Day rider, I, I very often see you, and it's not criticizing, just noticing. I notice that you ride oftentimes with no gloves, and you've just got on a t-shirt and a half helmet. And I'm wondering, do you get negative comments from your viewers about your not wearing gear? Because I get uh, negative comments quite often about that kind of thing. If I'm not wearing all the gear, I get comments. As though I hadn't really thought about the risk. I have thought about the risk. I know what the risk is. Hell yeah, I know what the risk is. I broke my leg terribly in 2010. The way it broke, I don't think boots would have helped me because it was a twist fracture. It wasn't a twist of the ankle that way. It was a ro rotational twist that shattered it. And a boot wouldn't have stopped that, I don't think. Or it would have ripped my knee apart. Uh, the lesson I learned from that, well, one of the one of the lessons was, if you go down on your bike and your bike is sliding, let go of it, let it go. Don't get trapped underneath it. I guess that's something that you should know if you're going to ride a motorcycle. If you go down, uh, get away from the bike, let it go. Well, they water into plants. It's a pretty day. Somebody said that they thought I had a filter on because it was so beautiful the other day when I rode. And uh, I can tell you with all certainty that I did not. I have tried to use filters in the past to try to jazz up my videos and it ends up turning them into something that looks very unnatural. So I, uh, I don't generally do that. Although in the garage video the other day when I showed the lawnmowers, I did punch up the lighting because it was so dark in there.
Okay. I know Moto Takahe doesn't watch me anymore because I made a joke about a pedophile. But he would be proud of that stop sign if he saw me. Let's see, what else? I would say um, that evolution, this is another lesson I would teach somebody. You're going to evolve as a motorcycle rider, and uh, that's a good thing. Don't be afraid of evolving. <laughs> I still have my camera on there. It's still on there. Okay. Which you, you can see that it's on there if you're watching this. Hopefully it's still on there. <laughs> if you're not seeing it, then that means it fell off somewhere, and I don't know where the hell it fell off. I don't even know really why I have it on there, because I'm not doing anything super sporty with it. Anyway. Evolution is good as a rider. Just like education and learning and training, those are all good things. So I think it is important to uh, accept the fact that you're going to evolve. The motorcycle that you like today, you might not like in three months. That's okay. The kind of riding you like now, you might not like in a year, or two years, ten years. That's okay too. You are not tied down to one style of riding, to one brand of riding. You can ride whatever you please. As long as you can afford it, have a good time. What are these ne'er-do-wells doing over here? Well, I gotta say I'm pretty happy with the GoPro right now because it seems to be holding its own. I just saw a house for sale on this road. I might have to go look that up on Zillow. See how much they're asking. I wouldn't mind living down here. This is in Harnett County, which is nice. Lower taxes, fewer people. Yeah, so uh, when I first started out, if you look at my videos, you'll see I was wearing a half helmet and I was wearing t-shirt, blue jeans, sneakers, which I'm kind of still doing now, but at least I have the armored jacket on and the full face helmet and the armored gloves. I used to wear the fingerless gloves until I started realizing that it was aging my skin in the sun prematurely and it was looking horrible. And I was getting terrible sunburns in the exposed places because, you know, the south has very strong sun. And now look at me, I I've changed quite a bit. If you look at my early videos, you know, the funny part is people still give me negative comments on the quality of the video from way back then. I go, this video quality sucks. Well, yeah. Did you look at the date it was put out? It was put out in 2008 or 7 or even 9 or 10 or 11. The video quality sucks. Well, yeah, because they didn't have anything else back then. People seem to forget, right? Everyone's spoiled with the new. And this thing right here, you're, you're saying, wow, it's very nice quality. Ten years from now, oh, that quality sucks. You don't have 3D smell-o-vision. So, there was a, a troll recently. Uh, I was talking about what kind of gear do you wear? Talked about, as I was riding, I had a Replay XD camera, which is a barrel-type camera on the side of my half helmet. And I had a makeshift microphone with uh, kind of like a big puffy dead cat kind of deal. Not really a dead cat, but big puffy microphone cover. I was trying to make the half helmet motor vlog work back then before I had Cena and GoPro. And uh, it was just not good. The audio quality was terrible. And so this is the worst video I've ever seen. He should take this down. So, uh, yeah, I just, you know, deleted the comment and blocked the user. So I don't have time for that. It just depends on my mood. Like the other day, somebody, like, 
I, they come in in uh, in groups. I notice the trollery. I got another comment. I think it was the same day from somebody else saying, um, well, "You're just riding a, a glorified moped or something." I said, "Well, it rides better than your mom did last night." And then I blocked them and deleted them. <laughs> glorified moped. People are stupid. I would also counsel somebody new to this that if you're going to do this whole videoing your ride, moto vlogging thing, uh, that you understand that it's going to be expensive. As a matter of fact, the whole motorcycle ownership thing is expensive for most folks. They think it's going to be cheaper, but it isn't. They end up spending all this money on gear and then more gear and more gear and and doodads for the bike and more doodads and upkeep and that kind of thing upgrades and this and that then there's the camera and the new camera and the next camera and the microphone and all this and people try every which way they can to kind of get around things ended up having to do the things that everybody else seems to be doing so just get ready for that it's going to be expensive but rewarding at the same time I've met so many great people, made so many great friendships, had amazing journeys with people, all because of this YouTube moto vlog thing. It has been quite a journey. Since 2007, I've been doing this. 13 years, is that right? Yeah, 13, 7. 17, 13, yeah, 13 years. So, by the way, this is Old Stage Road. If anybody's interested, I was—I've been on Old Stage Road the whole time now. I'm headed down toward Highway 421, and then I'll bang a right. I've gone 13.4 miles so far. Not too bad at all. Temperature 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see, I'm, I'm only doing like 59, 58. And it's a 40, uh, it's a 55 mile an hour speed limit here. So, oh, it just went down to 45. So I'm not really doing anything crazy. Which is, again, is another kind of bummer that uh, Takahe is not watching anymore because I'm actually riding decently. Hopefully, no, I, I know for a fact that uh, Paul Fosbury is still watching because he says he has a very dark sense of humor as well. So I know that didn't offend him. So, hey, Paul, look at me riding normally, I'm not going too crazy. I don't always ride crazy, but when I do, oh boy. <laughs> 